what you obviously have talked about yourself at the beginning of this interview is like a main topic that's kind of, I would say, haunted your career since you got to the Mad Lions level. Because once you got to that level, I would say it's like low tier one. People were ready, especially when they watch people like you, Bobski, maybe Shush eventually. Like some of these players, it's obvious they were going to go to the top and they were going to be in the best Danish teams in the heroics and the Astralis of the world and be potentially very good players. So a lot of people, the discussion with you was essentially like you're a good opera people can watch the skills but yeah it's like how how are you actually going to become a star player now you said it yourself there maybe you had too much of like a support mindset what i want to ask was this i can see it going both ways depending on what your in-game leaders like some in-game leaders if they have like a system play sometimes they do want the opera to just like sit in this spot that i say here i know that you're covering this angle and then i can sort of like take that out of the equation i can do this over here or the entry pack so some igls might want the opera to be just do whatever he wants and then they just work around him or something is there a reason why it took so many different teams for you to kind of figure out how you how you could get the most out of your game? Because in some teams it looked good and some teams it didn't. And I noticed people tended to either flame or praise your IGL as a result. Yeah, I mean, this is really hard to say because um, when I have, because I haven't been noble for a long time. If, if like, I don't think three years is a long time as nob. Um, but I did feel like it took way too long for me to actually figure out how to, how to play, uh, like how, like the, the, I think it was like too young in my mind that like, mentally to actually like take a lot of initiative and, and come up with plans and and, re and like the way you read the game and like pull your teammates into your plans and stuff and, and take initiative that that way i think i think i was too slow at in general of like coming up with the, with all of that so um i won't say wasted wasted years but like i, I would definitely say that uh wasted uh opportunities uh, maybe opportunities yeah yeah, yeah. To yeah. me, look, it's never wasted if you learn from it and you actually do get the lesson done. And like, maybe now you'll have an amazing yeah. career and you'll look back and that, you'll be glad you went through all that to get to where you are, right? Yeah, you can say that. I, 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 definitely, I definitely still have time to, to like do some great things in the NCS. Does that mean uh, in in terms of your personality? Because I've <laughs> often thought, if you, it's a funny thing if you're a fan at home, but if you actually see people's personality in interviews aside from the people who are just really fake and a bit good at <laughs> acting like it oftentimes like people's character is kind of a little bit like their playing style like guess what you can imagine yeah simple is a bit of an aggressive guy who just says whatever the fuck he wants you can imagine yeah. nico is like sort of just laid back but at the same time he knows he's the best just, they, they kind of do have a lot of the same so does this mean in real life are you just are you just too nice a guy were you a bit of a walkover um probably like i've been told that before i've been a pretty nice guy but yeah, I'm, I'm general. I'm generally laid back, like a, a lot laid back, and just I don't mind stuff. I, I anything is annoying, I'll, I'll just like brush it away, and yeah. So I'm probably too too much of a nice guy a lot of times, but yeah. Because the it reason, actually, I think it's interesting that you would describe it as like knowing when to take initiative and you have the plan and bring other people. That's a way better way to describe it to me than like other people use like just like simple terms or just not confident or whatever. It's like, here's the thing. If you have your skill set, you must be confident. You must think like when I take these shots, I mean, you hit them all the time. You just think like, obviously yeah. I can win these duels. It's more about like how you see yourself in the round and the team and stuff, right? Yeah, I feel like like right now on Game of Legends, for, for some reason... At least when we played like all the good teams in, in the RMR tournament here, like I was having re like I could I could read whatever they did. Like for some reason I just had the the right read every round, and I, I was just calling stakes every round by round all, all the time and mid round calls and um like I I was really feeling it individually. So I, I was just peak yeah. like I would just take the peak and just kill kill the guy, and and I had so much confidence going to the games. Um, and when I when I read when I read the game like I do right now, then that that boosts my confidence as well because you you're gonna go into whatever advantage that or not advantage uh, you're gonna go into the every situation knowing or having a really really good idea of what they're gonna do. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or you know, be a pleb and don't.